My last 10 minute practice was 15 minutes. So I'm going to aim for a 10 minute practice again, but it could be 15. Stand tall in Tadasana. Tighten the kneecaps, bring the weight back into the heels, widen the chest, open the collarbones from inside out, open the sternum, extend down through the arms. Kneecaps firm, thighs firm. Trikonasan. Turn the left foot in, turn the right leg out. Exhale, go down. Open the chest, shoulder blades deep into the back. Breath smooth and even. Inhale, come up. Bring the feet to face forward, stretch out. Open out across the arms. Turn the right toes in, turn the left leg out. Exhale, go down. Lengthen through the spine. Press the outer blade of that back foot down. Breath smooth and even. Kneecaps lifted, legs straight, arms straight. Be aware right through to that top hand, looking up to that top hand. Inhale, come up. Bring the feet to face forwards, having the legs wide, okay? And we do sideways stretch with the legs wide. Turn the left toes in a little, turn the right leg out. We're going to go through warrior two. Exhale, bend the knee and feel how the weight changes in those feet. Feel how the weight changes in their feet. Now place the right hand down, bring the top arm over the head. Extend through to the fingertips. Press back into the outer blade of that back foot. Inhale, come back up, swoop the arm back, lift up, drop the shoulders, sit deep into the pose, and then inhale, come up. Bring the feet to face forwards, open up the chest, extend into the fingers, turn the right toes in a little, turn the whole of the left leg out to 90 degrees, resist with that back leg, exhale, bend the front leg. Picture that you're trying to press down into those feet evenly to keep that body upright. Yeah, it would be different in the legs if you manage to get that weight to be even. Exhale, bring the left hand down. Outside edge of that left foot, bring the right arm over the head. Sideways stretch. Extend through to the fingers. Press smooth and even. Press the knee into the arm. Back leg firm. One straight line. Keeping your legs where they are, but move the body up, stretch that top arm up. Inhale, see if you can keep the knee exactly on where it is on that left leg, come back up, warrior two. <laughs> and then bring the feet, so bring the legs straight, bring the feet to face forwards, stretch out. Okay, now you felt how, easy, how much easier it was to keep the weight pressing straight down in the feet. If you're, um, sideways stretch. So turn the left toes in, turn the right leg out, bend your right leg, okay, follow, go over like you're going to go sideways stretch but take the shin, now keep the weight in your right leg, keep the weight in your left foot, straighten up that right leg without allowing the weight to shoot into the heel. So you come back to your trikonasana. Now that should make your hamstrings feel like they're supporting the leg a little better. It'll give you a slightly different feeling in your trikonasana. Breathe smoothly and evenly, and then inhale, come up. Quite different? Bring the feet to face forward, stretch out. Isn't it marvelous? <laughs> Turn the left toes a little. Turn the whole of the right leg out to 90 degrees. Come into your warrior two, feel how the weight changes in the feet. Feel how the weight, particularly in that front foot, is now pressing straight down. 
So you're coming down like you're coming into your sideways stretch, but hold the shin, yeah? And then keep the weight exactly how it is in that left foot and start to straighten that leg, but keep the weight exactly the same, exactly the same. Feel how the leg changes. Feel how the work in the leg is different from the last time. Breathe. Especially if you're a little bit more seasoned with this practice. If you're a beginner, don't worry, just make the shapes. Yeah, and don't do anything to upset anything. Stay kind to yourself. Extend up through the arms. Breathe. Breath smooth and even. And then when you're ready, inhale, come up. Keeping those legs nice and strong. Bring the feet to face forward, stretch out, open up the chest. And then heel and toe the feet in a little so it makes it easier, and legs together. Lift the chest, stretch the arms down. Do you want to have another go? Legs wide, trikonasana. Left foot in, right leg out. Okay, so now, can you make the leg do the same as you did? So, do the same as you did. So you want the weight pressing straight down. Back leg firm, kneecaps lifted. Okay, and now exhale, go down, but try and keep the weight in the front of the foot as well as in the back of the foot. Turn the ribs, look up towards the top hand. Open up the chest. Legs nice and firm. Gaze at that thumb. With the, so you're looking at your left thumb with your right eye. If you can. Inhale, come up. Bring the feet to face forward, stretch out. Extend out from the sternum. Turn the right toes a little, turn the whole of the left leg out to 90 degrees. Notice if you let the hip drop, how the weight sinks into the heel. Okay? Notice if you lift this um, front leg up a little, or groin up a little, how the weight shoots into the front of the foot more. Try and keep the weight even in the foot. Keep the legs firm. Exhale, go down. Rolling that left shoulder back, turning the head, looking up to your right arm with the left eye. Breathe. Lengthening through to those fingertips. Relaxing the eyes and releasing the tongue. Lengthening the spine. And inhale, come up. Bring the feet to face forward, stretch out. Legs together. Stand tall. We've got Prasarita Padottanasana next. Legs wide. Here the weight is even in both feet. The feet stay uh, facing directly forwards. Bring your hands to your waist. Roll those shoulders back, lift the chest and look up. Tighten up through the kneecaps so the legs are firm. Folding from the hips, exhale, come down. Place the fingertips to the floor, lengthen the spine. Tighten the legs. Keep those legs gripping in the hips. Exhale, fold, releasing the head down. Bring something in to rest the head upon. You haven't got a great big bun like I've got on the top of my head, I've just released mine. Walk those hands back and release the head down. Lift the arches of the feet up. Keep the soles of the feet spread, particularly on the balls of the feet. Keep the weight into the heels and into the balls of the feet evenly. So picture that your feet are making perfect sand, um, footprints in the sand. Couple more breaths here. Releasing the back of the neck. Elbows in line with the shoulders. And elbows pulling away from the shoulders. So you're getting as much lift and length and into the neck as possible. Inhaling, look forwards. Exhale. If you can keep the hands back by the feet and straighten the arms, do so. Otherwise, you can always walk the hands a little bit further forwards. Now, if you need to heel and toe the feet in towards each other, again, you can do so. 
Otherwise, hands to waist. Roll those shoulder blades deep into the back. Inhale, come up. Stretch those arms out and legs together. Stand tall. You can always step them together. You don't have to jump. It's quite hard when the legs are that wide. Okay, we're going to do Uttanasana. So you've got half Uttanasana where you can put your fingertips to the wall and you can step back and stretch this way. Kneecaps are lifted or half Uttanasana without the wall. So we'll full of Uttanasana, but with the elbows bent. So you hold the elbows like this and stretch up. Kneecaps are lifted again, rotate from the hips. Exhale, fold. And allow the body to hang. Now if it's too much on the hamstrings, yeah? If it's too much that you can always let the legs release a little. So you can then let the body rest down. But if you can, and if it's comfortable on the back to do so, have the legs straight. So the hips, the head of the, the femur, the greater trochanter, this normally bit up on the top here, is directly over the ankles if possible. Okay, and then you let the body flow down. So this is all, it's all guidelines. You know, we're aiming towards it. Let gravity draw the body down. Now I'm gonna ask you to change your clasp of your elbows. Okay, so, Something I've discovered is that I have changed the class for my elbows for 20 odd years and I've always moved the same hand one way to change the class. So I'm going to ask you, I apologise for those who already know this, but instead of moving the one hand that you always move, move the other hand. It's like brushing your teeth with the opposite hand. Something else you should try. After you brush your teeth with the proper hand that is. Breathe. Let the legs lengthen, let the legs stretch and open. And then hands to waist. Roll the shoulders back, lengthen through the spine, bend the knees if you need to to come up, but if you can lift the chest, pressing into the big toes, inhale, stand up. And exhale, stretch the arms down, Tadasana, bring the legs together. Stand tall, extend the fingers, dog head down, stretch yourself back, open up the backs of the knees, relax the eyes and release the tongue, lengthen the spine, pose the child, bend the knees, bring the big toes together. Lengthen back. Making sure the knees are comfortable. If this is too much, then you can lie on your back and cuddle the knees in close. So here the body is dropping down between the knees. Arms are long, body is beautifully folded. Those of you who wish to, you can bring your knees together, draw the head in and bring the hands back. Those of you who wish to take the Virasana pose, so here, this is pose of the child with the knees together and you're folding forwards nice, um, nicely over the thighs. As you wish to, you can sit down between the feet. So we now have the Virasan leg bend. Okay, you can place your hands on the heels of the feet. Exhale, lengthen forwards and just place the head down. Putting something underneath your head if your head doesn't reach the floor. So in one of BKS Iyengar's books, he says to take the chin towards the floor. But I have to be careful because um, one of a, one of the back in the day, there was a presenter called Bruce Forsyth, and he had a 
quite a, a substantial chin. And I keep pushing my chin out to reach it to the floor. So I just come back and rest my head. As a desperate Dan, that cartoon character, he had a big chin. Take a few breaths. Press into the hands. Inhale, come up. And then take Shavasana. So when you lie down for Shavasana, always lie down with bent legs. I'm sure I've repeated this many, many, many times. But just in case you're new and you've never heard it before, there we go. Rolling down vertebrae by vertebrae, putting support under the head if necessary. If the back is at all achy, place something underneath the knees. Otherwise, lengthen those legs away and let the legs, the feet flop out to the side and breathe. Relax the eyes and release the tongue. Let the arms and the legs feel heavy. And allow your body to just breathe itself. Releasing any tension. No need to do anything more. the hands onto your abdomen, one at a time, bending up the legs. Rolling over onto your right side, rest there, unless it's too uncomfortable if you maybe have a shoulder injury or something, roll to your left. Nothing is set in stone. Sit up quietly. Press the hands on the thighs. Bow the head to the heart, lifting the heart to the head. Bring your hands to Namaste. You bring them either to your heart centre. I like to bring mine to my forehead and then my heart centre. Raise the face, release the hands and open the eyes. I think I've probably overrun a little. Have a lovely day.